Black African power, man. What's good? What's happening? A well organized lie. Defeats a disorganized truth every time. Woohoo, we, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. It's God killing the house. Man, what's up, family, man? This is part of our cater. Dr. K, the series, we releasing them real slow. We're going to get the whole, the whole, you're going to get a chance, right? If you're a member of the channel to watch the whole thing, if you wasn't in attendance, man. Man, we appreciate the scholarship of the bioanthropologist and MD, Dr. K. You know, it's been circulating in the community in the Afrocentric vein of things flavor extra sauce that the egyptian population the modern population today is no way connected to the ancient population this is what they saying we're gonna sit back let the expert talk about that very thing so let's enjoy this cut right here man of dr cater bringing his expertise to the high level conversation sit back and enjoy it comes to the issue of a migration thesis uh shake on the joke did have a thesis in one of his books and i think some others that there was a, a migration out of Egypt. Uh, I, I've never been able to, uh, I think there were probably contacts and, and individuals or, or maybe small groups, but I see no e evidence of a mass depopulation of Egypt in any one particular time, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I, don't, I don't see the kinds of rules of evidence that I would like to see archeologically for that. I would mm -hmm. expect to see certain markers and certain things. Mm -hmm. talk about certain hints and influences i think that uh either that, that may have a common cradle or maybe there was some actual migration and influence but i don't see i mean no matter what anybody says late stage egyptian is not the same as walla okay now could they be related could they be related languages or if you want to talk about an earlier migration from east to west depending on how far you want to go you want to go back to that p2 ancestor you want to go back to hold that p2 we're going to talk about that p2 hold that no, no, not yet late, no no but if you want to go back to an earlier period uh -huh. talk about east to west migration hmm. of people within africa yeah that's much more plausible in fact and very likely you know okay. uh, absolutely but, but that's a different thing than saying egyptians right. who were self-conscious of being egyptians migrated uh, th that's a different thing. That's okay. Different thing. So, so that that there may be something in certain ideas, but uh, you know, uh, uh, it, it may not be exactly the way people uh, are are thinking about it, and that hmm. may be because they haven't read certain books and and what have you. Uh, okay, go ahead. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, but I'm glad. And and uh, we should have our notes and be taking our notes for this conversation man once again man you're listening to a, a high level conversation uh interviews with the experts community of skeptics and we appreciate uh, uh the crowd and yeah let's move on to the next uh uh slides get through this very interesting and then we'll we'll we'll, we'll definitely take some questions from the crowd okay Okay, well, again, what are the dangers of oversimplifying African history by claiming all major achievements as African? I think you kind of touched on it a little bit. What are the dangers? Oh, when, there? When, you say, when you say major achievements, are you talking about major achievements within Africa? See, even the way you juxtapose the words African history, and are you talking about things within Africa? 
So, know, for instance, things uh, globally, Africans contributing to the global stage. Uh, we, which one are you talk, talking about? We, we talking mean, about people will literally say, a "Car Africans invented the car." Okay, they, all right. Now, now they, things they like go that. Far. Things like things like that. You have every right to to ask for proof and evidence. You know, you have everything to ask. You have every right to ask for that. Uh, uh, are there some things that Africans invented? The, the interesting thing is that there's some things that Africans invented that, that, that some archaeologists still want to debate about. Did, did Africans actually independently smelt iron on their own? Okay. Mm. Okay. No, they did West Africa for sure. No, that's okay, so, there. So, so, so I'm, but what I'm trying to say is that uh, there are issues from within African history that for a long time, if you remember the Hamitic hypothesis, uh, Seligman basically said that the civilizations of Africa, any meaningful culture in Africa, it come from the outside. Well, you know, nobody believes that anymore. But for hmm. up and through up through the '60s, people would write. You could see hints of that way of thinking. People used to talk about the dynastic race with regards to Egypt, and this is hints where you get the pushback uh, 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 from some African scholars, of course. That, uh, but but this has not been a part of mainstream, so-called, I'm not going to say mainstream, hasn't been a part of the European Academy, too, for a long time. The, the dynastic race hypothesis has long been, uh, I, you know, or has been dropped or is no yeah, longer right. believed. Egypt, modern Egyptologists do not accept. And I don't know to what degree they ever, all of them ever accepted the dynastic race hypothesis with the hypothesis that... Uh, in the in the late later stages of pre-dynastic that the core ideas of kingship and what have you have been brought from the outside again i would point out that uh the egyptian crown the words for king uh all of those symbols are clearly based on nilotic flora and fauna i mean the glyphs they're all local now the ram did come in from outside mm -hmm. and uh get incorporated into that but then you see Anubis, who's uh, a different kind of creature, who's local. So anyway, so uh, what I would say is that you, you you should be able to support any claim that you make with some reasonable amount of evidence and, and, uh, and be able to show it genealogically speaking. You should be able to build it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's get to the next slide. Oh, Bobby, I think you got to talk to uh, something wrong with your microphone. She Is something wrong with my microphone? I think she said she put up a thing that you weren't talking to everybody. I I, I don't know if that went through. Okay. Uh, can you hear me now? I'm good. We clear. I hear you clear. I okay. know. It's good. I, mean, I think she meant everybody. I'm not sure. You're good, Bobby. Okay. All right. We're all good. Oh, he's talking about the chat. Oh, we're talking about the chat. We're in the chat. Oh, okay. I messed with it. All right. So look here. This, now, now this is what I had struggled with early on was African diversity, and I was actually stuck in that racist mindset of the the, the Negro and, well, well, and the races. So let me just hold on. Let me get to the question. So we back. Okay. So this should be into like how does DNA evidence like the P and two marker show the diversity of African populations? Well, I'm gonna maybe reshuffle that question and, yeah please. okay and also address something that i think uh, uh someone raised in the chat box uh they raised a question about modern egyptians uh mm. viewing themselves it depends on which modern egyptians you talk to what they think and and how how much they look like the most ancient egyptians uh in a way it really doesn't matter because they still are carrying some of that dna to some degree uh, from those earliest days, although some of them very obviously are, are, are and know that they are of Turkish ancestry and know that they've been assimilated into the population. And so, you know, this is really a matter of, you know, it's very difficult as uh, one Egyptian woman who I'm going to be working with, hmm. who is working on this whole issue of Egyptians and Africanity and Arabicity and reconciling conflicts between African Americans. <laughs> So there are people, there are people, even Egyptians, who are working on this stuff. The whole notion of indigenous in Egypt gets very difficult for all the obvious reasons, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It gets very, very difficult, except for 
the obvious recent immigrants or the people who know, well, we're Turks, you know, and there's right. some who do and some who say it, some who don't, you know, and they're Greek Egyptians too. Okay. But anyway, go ahead. Mm, Greek Egyptian. Well, shoot, since we right there real quick, just a little slight deviation. So, and you talked about, uh, so it, would you consider there like to be a, or was it ever a history or historical uh, evidence to show that the, the, the that the population in Egypt was displaced, and and so you'll hear people say that's another of those claims that those Egyptians that those modern Egyptians uh -huh. are, are 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 on a replacement population, and and that's one of those uh, Afrocentric ideas uh -huh. that hope, well a lot of people say that that, and, and so the comp this is where the rubber meets the road. What is the okay? Let me let me answer that for you. Okay, yeah, very go scientifically, ahead. very, very scientifically. Easily. Let's get it very easily. Okay, the modern Egyptian population, I believe, now let's call it a belief, has absorbed a lot of people over a long period of time. Okay? Mm -hmm. And there are models that you can actually run. Uh, uh actually, someone developed it, my alma mater, uh, when I uh, well, before I got there where you can actually do really basic gene simulations and you can show how if you have 5% migration, which means 5% of people coming from the outside into a given space and assimilating, okay? And having children there. It doesn't take, it doesn't take, and in fact, I published based on something that somebody else said, it doesn't take a, a, a whole lot of migration if you do it say over 25 generations to fundamentally change the genetics of a population mm -hmm. it doesn't okay. but now does the population change its social cultural identity no not if people have been totally absorbed we're not talking about people moving in and keeping to themselves we're talking about people mm -hmm. who come in and get assimilated and and let's think about a situation where in the islamic period where polygamy gets to be very common, right? Correct. So if you have polygamy and you have foreign male lineage coming in and he has four local wives, he's going to produce all of his sons are going to be carrying that 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 foreign lineage. So you could increase it, not due to natural selection, not due to some evolutionary process, but just simply due to out reproducing everybody else. Hmm. Okay. So so when you make a claim that the, the Egyptians there today if you want to say this, that the Egyptians today are not the same as the Badarians, I'm willing to stand up and say that. Okay? Me too. But that's an easy statement to make. But it doesn't mean that the Egyptians of today, when I say not the same, doesn't mean that they're not related to the Badarians. Mm. Any, any more than an Afro-American who can pass for white doesn't mean that he's not related to some Africans. It just means he has left African ancestry. So it really depends on how you want to pin your your perspective. How how you want to fight that fight? Well, it's so, not a fight. It's not a fight. It's not a fight. I mean, in my oh, mind, it's a I fight. Focus, well, okay, all right, all right. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't believe emphatically. It. I'll tell you what they're saying say emphatically. Emphatically, that the population in the Nile Valley now mm -hmm. is not wouldn't be part of those ancient Egyptians or or not those people at all. That 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 those Egyptians have went to Kenya. South mm -hmm. Africa, and and that's what it, and they take their totems with you. I've heard all of okay, it. Okay, now now let me ask a question about this. I ask that question. Go you ahead. have to ask a question. If mm -hmm. anybody says that in that way, you have to ask them. Well, why aren't they speaking Egyptian? <laughs> where they at? Where they went to? <laughs> why aren't they speaking Egyptian? Who 